What I wanted to do today was specifically discuss the wrist uh, anatomy and pathology in terms of two very common athletic activities that many of us participate in and are very commonly uh, seen in association with injury in our patients, and that's racket sports, specifically tennis. Um, and golf. When a sports medicine physician or an orthopedic surgeon refers a wrist case to us uh, in one of these athletes, it's incumbent upon us to mention some specific structures because they are looking typically for very common forms of pathology and it's those forms of pathology that I really want to spend the next 30 minutes on reviewing. There are three main factors that um, we see with, with wrist injuries in tennis and golf athletes. There's uh, acute overuse where somebody, the, all of a sudden the weather gets good and they go back out and start participating in the sports. Uh, there's direct trauma that if somebody obviously falls on their wrist, competing in these sports can uh, produce problems. But far and away, poor mechanics contribute to most of the injuries that we're gonna be talking about today. Let's start with ulnar wrist pain because this is very common in both tennis athletes and uh, golf athletes. And there are certain structures that are particularly prone to injury in these athletes. There's the extensor carpial narrowest tendon, the triangular fibrocartilage complex, the hamate bone, the flexor carpial narrowest tendon and its insertion at the pisiform, and then hypothenar hammer syndrome we'll also discuss. This is an axial T1 weighted image showing all these little uh, tendons, both the flexor and extensor tendons, and it's a, it's a little bit overwhelming, but um, the extensor tendons in particular are, in, are injured in these types of sports. So it's very important that in our interpretation process that we interrogate the integrity of these tendons. And it's conveniently broken up into different compartments. We have the first extensor compartment, which is the uh, right here, the abductor, uh, the uh, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis. We have the second extensor compartment here, which is the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. This is Lister's tubercle right here, which is a con convenient landmark, and right next to that is the extensor pollicis longus. We have the fourth extensor compartment, which are the uh, digital extensors. Then there's the fifth extensor compartment, which is the extensor digiti minimi. And then there's the sixth extensor compartment, which is the extensor carpi ulnaris. And that's what we're going to focus on now. The extensor carpi ulnaris uh, tendon is commonly injured. It's a cause of wrist pain, particularly with rotation, supination, pronation. There can be swelling and palpable tenderness right over the extensor carpi ulnaris. Sometimes in advanced cases, there will actually be numbness because the swelling affects the uh, sensory branch of the ulnar nerve. <laughs> 